Welcome to the online Student Blackboard tutorial. This tutorial will prepare you to navigate your online or blended course at Mercy College. We will show you some of the basic features of Blackboard and provide you with resources to ensure a successful online experience. In this tutorial, we will cover five main areas. How to find your Blackboard user ID and password, how to access your Blackboard course, how to find your course materials, how to respond to discussion postings, and, if needed, how to obtain online assistance. Now, let's start with how to find your user ID and password. There are a few ways. Go to www.mercy.edu. Place your mouse over the My Mercy tab. You can find it under Mercy Connect or under IT Support and under Mercy Blackboard. I'm clicking on Mercy Blackboard. Then I click on Forgot Your Password. You will see a form that asks you for information. Enter your first name and last name, last four digits of your SSN, and your date of birth in the following format. Click Submit and you will see your username and password. If you have any trouble, you can call or email the help desk with the information provided right on the page. Now that you have your Blackboard ID and password, Let's log on to Blackboard. We can get to Blackboard a couple of ways. Remember, we just went to the Mercy homepage and then moused over the My Mercy tab and selected Blackboard. We can either do that or we can type https colon slash slash mercy dot blackboard dot com into the search bar. We are now on the Blackboard entry page. First, type in your username and then your password. Now, click Login. When you first log in, you will see what is called the Dashboard. It consists of On-Demand Help and Learning Catalog, your course list, campus and course announcements, and campus and course calendar. Let's explore each of these areas. The On-Demand Help and Learning Catalog takes you to the Blackboard Learning Center. Click the link for students. Here you will see in-depth tutorials on topics that will be helpful to you, such as taking a quiz online and using the discussion board. These are available 24-7. Your course list contains links to all your courses in Blackboard. Campus and Course Announcements will communicate any announcements posted from Mercy College and your specific Blackboard courses. And the Campus and Course Calendar will inform you of important campus-wide dates, as well as any dates your professor has placed in your course calendar. To access your course or courses in Blackboard, click on a course in your course list. In your course, you will see another dashboard, which includes What's New? Campus and Course Announcements, Alerts, and Needs Attention. What's New includes any new content your professor may have added since you last logged in. Campus and Course Announcements is the same as the previous screen. It is provided inside your course in case you need to check an announcement. Blackboard Alerts help you stay on track and monitor your activity in the course. If your professor chooses to use them, you will be notified in this box if you missed an assignment, have not logged into the course in three days, or if your grade falls below a certain score that your professor has set. Once you've checked your dashboard, a good place to start is Welcome Start Here. You will find a series of helpful links here. Under Contact Information, you will see any information your professor makes available to you. In getting started, your professor may place a document that welcomes you to the course and provides you with a course overview. The Introduce Yourself General Course Questions are discussion board areas. The first area is where you introduce yourself to your professor and your classmates. Your introduction is your first opportunity to show the professor that you plan to attend this course. The General Questions Discussion Area is a place where you can ask questions or make comments about the course that are not related to course material. For example, where did you get your book? You will also see that there are links to more online student resources and the Mercy College Library. While we're here, let's post a message in the Introduction Discussion. 
The discussion board is a communication tool. It is public, meaning the entire class and the professor can read your comments and any work you attach. Discussions are the heart of online courses. Each week you will post and reply to messages pertaining to the topic or topics of the week. If you want to communicate with your professor privately, you use the email tool. Let's create a discussion posting. I'm going to introduce myself to the class. Type in the subject of your message. Click in the box below to begin typing your message. If you have any attachments from your computer, you can click Browse My Computer, Create an Attachment. You can add an attachment wherever you see this button in the course, discussion posts and replies, email, or assignment areas. When finished, click Submit. Now, let's respond to a discussion board posting. Click on the thread you want to respond to. In this case, it is Matt's introduction. Click Reply and begin typing your reply in the box. When finished, click Submit. Your reply is now added to the thread. Now let's check our course requirements. You will find this in the syllabus on the left-hand navigation bar. Be sure to read the syllabus for assignments, tests, and all course requirements. Let's look at the course materials page. Most courses will be organized by weekly units or topics. Under the course materials section, you'll find this organization. In my course here, the first unit is called Introduction to Social Research. As the semester progresses, other units will appear when my professor releases them. Under this unit, there is a folder for readings, media, discussion, assignments, and a quiz. Some weeks may have a quiz, some weeks may not. Check the course materials area for links to your quizzes. Click on the quiz link and click Begin to take the quiz. I've just shown you the basics to get started with Blackboard. If you're having technical difficulty, contact the Help Desk. For example, if you're having trouble logging into Blackboard, the Help Desk is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Mercy Online provides student support with Blackboard and online learning. There are people here to help you. You can call, email, or walk into the office for assistance with navigating your course, posting assignments, attaching files, and proctored exam information. We are here to help with your online and blended learning.